In the Olympic Village, thousands of athletes are living alongside each other. International camaraderie with plenty of protocols. And that includes keeping your distance. Turns out, even more than two meters in some cases. I don't have concerns. I think everyone is tested. Everyone gets tested every day. Uh, everyone is wearing their mask. You're eating separately. Well, for many athletes, the thrill of competition may be far greater than any COVID concerns. The Japanese remain anxious, especially given that two-thirds don't have a single COVID shot when infections are even popping up among those who've been fully vaccinated. 18-year-old Kara Eaker is an alternate with America's powerhouse gymnastics team. She's now in isolation after a positive COVID test. This month, just over 70 COVID cases have been connected to the Games. I'm wondering what the IOC's message is to the Japanese public who is not happy that this event is proceeding. Our message is that, you know, we understand concerns. These are difficult times. Um, but I think we'd like to reassure them again that everything is being done. Officials point to the fact that only a few dozen COVID cases have been found among the 30,000 international visitors who've already arrived for the Games. But that's not likely to ease the fears over the virus spreading beyond the Olympic bubble. The more you say it will definitely be okay, the less the Japanese will trust, says this doctor. He told CBC that given the country's low vaccination rate, athletes and others should be vigilant about not catching COVID from the thousands of Japanese staff and volunteers working at the Games. Competition officially gets underway Wednesday with softball and soccer games beginning. But officials have acknowledged that support for the Olympics in Japan is dwindling even further as the opening ceremony approaches. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Tokyo.